All builders love gradients, but sometimes it's hard to know where a block fits in, especially when a new block comes out, like these tough blocks here. The 121 update has given us tough bricks, polished tough, chisel tough and much more. But I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, do they actually fit into the traditional grey scale? I don't know, they, they have a funny colour. I mean, is that even proper grey? I, I don't know, is this grey? I'm the people leather and I come from a background in art, so understanding colour is really important to me. I want to know what exactly are we looking at here? Is that really grey? And if so, what undertones can we find in this block? Because if we know that, we can design our gradients and colour schemes so much better. I think what we need is a proper colour analysis. First up, let's zoom in. All blocks are made up out of different coloured pixels. Now, we have different kinds of tough blocks, but it seems to me that they all use more or less the same range of pixel colours, and this cobbled tough here has probably the most variety of colours, so let's take a closer look. What I see here is five different pixels, so I'm going to pop this on Canva and use the colour picker tool to see what we actually have here. Aha, yes, my suspicion was right. These are all very dark, desaturated shades of green and some are based on ochre. And there's one that's a kind of greeny blue, which probably balances it out a bit. Um, so let's look at the color wheel. And yeah, there you can see the undertones of this block are all a lot warmer and greener than the stone blocks that we normally use. So this is actually a very greeny, like an almost khaki based grey. So it is definitely different. So what does that mean for us as builders? What gradients can we get with this? Now gradients are a huge thing in building and many great builders have pointed out that it's almost impossible to create a smooth gradient from white to black. Can you see the jump here between the stone bricks and the deep slate bricks? Mm -hmm, yeah, that really jars, doesn't it? There's a, there's a block missing there. The new tough bricks are meant to bridge this gap and I'd say it's definitely sufficiently dark. Uh, so the stone fits into the middle here, yeah, but when you see them side by side, I find it odd that it has a different tint to the block above and below. Let's look at a whole range of blocks, the complete grayscale, and move away a bit, so from a distance. How does this look? And y you know what? Actually, actually, that's not bad. I think... I think we've got a great new block for our grayscale. That that actually does work. But that's not all. I've discovered that the green undertone is actually a great thing because it helps us with another very popular gradient. You know when you build those old weather-worn buildings with a bit of moss growing on them and we have the mossy stones already, but the green to gray gradient is really, really popular for that. And now we have another stone that fits perfectly in between the gray and the green which makes the transition from grey to green really, really smooth. And that is amazing. But what if you want to add some colour? What colours go with tough? Well, if you're looking for some interesting tough colour schemes with a bit more pop, check out the next video. But for now, here's the full range of gradients all put together so that you can see the potential of this new block. And I have to say, this weird colour definitely has its place on our Minecraft palette. I think it will become a firm favourite for anyone who likes to build in a medieval style. And to prove my point, here's a very simple ruined tower. From a distance, you barely see the subtle shading. I love it. So let's give a warm welcome to the many new tough bricks, even if they are a kind of weird grey.